You know, I'd like to say I'm very hardworking, but I'm not. I'm very lazy. I always tell people it's not about memory. It's not about talent. It's about your personality or your willingness to act. Hey everyone, it's Manov here at Glossica and we're really happy to have another conversation. So here's my friend Claire. Hi. And uh, we're going to learn a bit about languages. That's right. Claire, I've gathered that you're a polyglot, meaning you speak and learn or, or you can read and write and speak in multiple languages. So I am fluent in six languages. Six languages, that's all? Um, and I'm learning Mandarin. Um, okay. I'm, I'm getting there. To learn at a later age in life, right? Later stage in life rather than at elementary. Have you found Mandarin to be one of the tougher ones? I would agree with that, yeah. yes. For people who grew up speaking a Western European language, um, it is extremely difficult because it is just completely different from what we know about languages, how we understand a language. And uh, I think that's the difficulty. So I was born in the Czech Republic. Okay. Um, and I was brought up monolingually. Mm. What was your second language? What is the... English. English, English. okay. Yeah, yeah. So I started watching American TV. As we all do. And um, somehow by the age of 13, I was fluent. And I had a pretty good accent. And, um, and I guess it was a bit strange because nobody around me uh, spoke like that. So your English was self-taught? via entertainment. In general, I have a lot of issues with the way language languages are being ins instructed. Classic language instruction in schools is kind of productive because mm. it, it traumatizes people because they get corrected too much and mm. subconsciously they, um, they get scared of speaking. It's because... not math, it's not sciences, it's something that's a little more loose. Like mm. as long as we can communicate, understand each other, Absolutely. there should be an opportunity or some window, right? For you Absolutely. to use a new language in the less standard, like lower than standard kind of way, just to get your message across. So you have Czech, mm. English, uh, I would assume French is in the roster, mm. right? Spanish? Spanish, yeah. Okay, and th there's a lot of similarities in French and Spanish, French -Spanish when learning, yeah. right? Latin-based languages, yeah. so uh, I'm assuming Italian would be easy for you to pick right. up if you don't, you don't know already? Yeah, yeah. So now the six would be either I'm gonna guess something like Germanic, so it'd be either Germany itself, Dutch, or... German, so, yeah, okay. yeah, what makes the most sense, right? Right. I think it's really easy to learn European languages because once you know one, um, you're like, oh yeah, this kind of works the same, you know, like it's, it's a similar logic, mm. like you have similar concept. You speak six languages. Um, I'm assuming for you, there must be a certain, like you seem like a very hardworking individual if you've attained this breadth of knowledge, then um, would, do you have a standard for yourself where you have to be able to read and write? Or do you say to yourself, if I can communicate, I can have a good mm -hmm. chat at a bar in a restaurant, I can get around, that's enough for me. You know, what makes you tick with this language? Mm. You know, I'd like to say I'm very hardworking, but I'm not, I'm very lazy. Just like, okay, like I would like to learn Italian. How would I go about it? So how about I just spend some time in Italy and, and, and you know, get used to the sound of it. I feel like um, a lot of a lot of people who travel, they want to learn a new language. They want to be able to use it, mm. um, but there's a part of their brain that says you're not good enough. You're not doing this well, and they just stutter and they freeze. Would you mind talking right. a bit about that? Like I feel like there's something in us. Absolutely. That's just like no. Absolutely. You're not. Don't even. So right? that's something that I. I really emphasize when people say, oh, I don't have good memory, or like, oh, like I'm not good at languages. Mm. Like, oh, you know, just this and that. So first of all, that's a story you're telling yourself. Right. Just and like the everything. More you tell so, it, and the more, and the more, you exactly, it, yeah. the more it becomes your truth. So like, oh, my memory is not good. And that's something you're constantly telling your brain and your brain is always listening. And uh, so that's the first thing. Like, what story do you tell yourself about mm. yourself and what do you choose to believe? Mm. I always tell people, it's not about memory. It's not about talent. Um, it's about your personality or your willingness to act, to like play, like play a role, be somebody else. I believe it really depends on how 
uh, comfortable you are with right. um, making a fool out of yourself. Right. right? I was about like to how, say. I think it's a very so, mm. there's a there's elements of pride in that. Uh, a sense of embarrassment that you have to embrace. Mm. Uh, being in theater and the performing arts, mm. you get that out of the way at a younger age, you know, in early stages in life of just, at the end of the day, it can't be so bad. Like, we're here to communicate. I'm hoping to understand one another and learn more and, you know, let's not freeze up for no reason, right? I think there's a different me for every language. Mm. And that's why I really enjoy it when I, especially when I don't get to speak a language for a very long time. Mm. And then after like, you know, many months, I'm like, oh, like I get to speak French again. And like the French Claire gets she, to she come out right. and, and, um, and I don't know, like complain a lot maybe, or like be very ironic. At the end of the day, you are your own kind of obstacle here. Yeah. Like there's nothing really stopping you. There's apps like available, there's books, there's uh, new adventures. And once the COVID lockdown kind of situation hopefully subsides, yeah. you can travel. Right. right. And so, I think, yeah, I think that's the message, right? Like the reason why I learn languages yeah. is because I want to communicate with people. I want to communicate with the world and speaking a foreign language allows me to make friends with people from different countries and it allows me to go to a new country and experience the country truly. So thanks for everyone for tuning in and Ciao. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the Glossica YouTube channel. Uh, shots of Jim. Arrivederci.